Hello the family, it's me again, Isaac Sariel, here for a new video. See a practicing guitar with the Congolese rumba and seven approach. It was a different than learning with blues, jazz, classic music approach, isn't it? <laughs> so I love to show you this different way of thinking, the music and the guitar. And today I shortly want to talk about how to master your fretboard how to know exactly where to put your finger, how to learn even scales without thinking. And with this advice, I want you to be able to learn this fretboard, the different position. So anytime you play guitar, you know exactly which fret to press. Okay, let's talk about it. You've probably seen the previous video. We talk about the key of C and the key of G, which are the main keys you have to master because of their patterns. And it's a good way to start with this new style, Congolese music, Congolese rumba, and seven. And you have to know how to play rhythmic guitar, firstly on these two main keys, the key of C and the key of G. And I would like you to grasp it so we can move on and go forward. Because after that, you will need to master your fretboard, to know the scales. And although you're a beginner, you may need to play some solo guitar right now not next year let's go ahead but keep in mind this is one of my main advices you need to master rhythmic guitar at least on the key of c and the key of g mastering the different chords for the different progression and to be able to play on the beats respecting the tempo Now that you know your main chords, your first degree in the key of C, which is the C major, your F major, which I have shown you this way, like as a shortcut, you know, for Congolese rumba, and then the G major, you can play like that, or like this, you know. Let's take the pick, you know, because probably want to practice playing arpeggios with your pick so you're still playing in, with the alternate picking we talk about it more later but so we have your C F major G major F major and C back to the C which is a simple progression one four five four one four five four one and congolese people call this progression de ton de ton now ask me why it's just the way it's called <laughs> so the tips to start to learn all the notes of your fretboard is not to learn them like uh, this is the c d e f very boring way of learning your scales and your notes on your fretboard. What I can show you is, you know, the simple rhythmic melody you've been playing, like that. That simple melody that you're supposed to have mastered, you can now try and play it with different patterns, you know, different patterns like this one. But not only this one, because I've already showed you this bar chord of the C major. You already know it, already know this G major, you already know this F major. But now I want you to play the same progression like not here, not from here, but like from here. You see? So that's the first step, is trying to see all the different pattern of your chords. Like you have a C major here. You have your C major here, which is from the first fret. You put your index on the A and you bar with your ring finger you bar on the fifth fret, you bar here and you play the string of D, the G and the B. So 
So you have your C major. But then you can play another C major which is like that. You keep the bar of the fifth fret and then you add your ring finger this time on the seventh fret pressing the A, the A string, the A string here. And you add your pinky, pinky finger. Your pinky finger is in the eighth fret here, pressing on the E, you know, the low E. So you can practice playing the same melody you have, you, you've been playing in, with this pattern. You're playing here. Okay, this is another F. See, it sounds the same. Then. So forcing yourself to practice playing the same melody in different patterns will force you to memorize the different position of the C major, different position of the F major, different position of the G major. That will be the first step. But it's not all. There's something else I want to tell you and I'm sure that will help you more. So don't skip this video. <laughs> so the first step was to play the different patterns to look for them. You know, you look for the different patterns of the C major. Yeah. Play it like that. And the more you going in the high notes, the more you like getting close to the lead guitar, solo guitar, and you will even start to play solo without thinking about it unconsciously. But don't rush things, okay? Don't rush your career. Take your time and we'll talk about it later. So let me finish about this advice. So the second step of this advice is when you play the different patterns, you play like the C major like that and you play the C major like this. And so you pick those two patterns, yeah? Those two forms of this chord. And I may advise you to try and mix them. You mix playing the two forms. Because when you're gonna mix them unconsciously, you will play a scale inside of the scale. And you mix them not playing like the whole form of the chord, yeah? Uh, you play kind of fingers one by one. So you have the D C major here. You kind of play, you put one finger, you put another one. Oh, so this one is an open string, so it doesn't count. So let's do it again. You play it. C, E, G. And then back to the octave. So you have your... You see that? So you have mixed this form with this form. And when you do that, you kind of starting to free your fingers. You practicing your coordination and you memorizing the different position. You're memorizing your fretboards, the different notes. So you play like. Then you have this form, you remember? So like I've played that one. And I've slide to get to this third form. See, so when you have this, and you starting playing arpeggios for solo guitar. You see, so you play exactly the chords, but with uh, a manner of thinking, a manner of putting your fingers, your hand on the neck of the guitar, this manner is for lead guitarists. Somehow, you understand? Somehow, 
lead guitarist will play you know in a way that you want to make sound string one by one you see you're not trying to no you're trying to make them sound one by one okay so it still sounds like a chord but it's a step to get you closer to the lead guitarist mindset because with that mindset you will play mixing all the different patterns so you can play you've seen that so let's do it slowly you've played the c major chord that you've played in different patterns let's do it again And to be honest, when you do, this note is out of the C major chord. But since you're sliding, since you're sliding like that, you just want to change your hand position to get to the other pattern of C major. By the way, you can easily guess that this note is in the tune because it's part of the major scale and in the same time it's a note played in another chord and i told you to play different patterns of the f also so like you play different patterns of the c major you play different patterns of the f and you play different patterns of the g major so when you play You have two different ways, two different patterns to play your same progression. So I ask you to practice mixing both of them. And when you mix them, you go slowly and you try to play it with the mindset of the lead guitarist, you know. I think it's a different way to think about playing solo guitar and a different way techniques to memorize the different notes of your fretboard, know your different patterns of chords and mix them, mix them respecting the same melody, the same tempo and to keep the identity of your melody, your song. Now let's do it very slowly so you can get it, you can get it properly.
So fam, this is a short example. It was just to give you some tips. I hope that helps and tell me in the comment if you enjoyed it. I will do more and do my best to help you again, as always. Let me know in the comment section below if it's too fast and if I should give more details. By the way, check the links. The Seven Academy, it's still open. And we talk more about these concepts in the platform. If you join me in this training, I would love to give you all my advice and to share with you all my knowledge. If you have the time, you can see the description of the Seven Academy. I have explained in French, but if you take the time to read the subtitles, I'm pretty sure you will be agree with the different concept I explained. So you can understand what is waiting for you in the Seven Academy. You can understand my principles and why I've made, created the Seven Academy. I'm sure that will help you.